Hi, and welcome to another instance in our MyIT Service Broker video series. Today I'd like to talk about the reporting capabilities of Service Broker. The administrative interface provides real-time insight into service popularity, accrued costing, and supplier performance metrics set in the service level agreement. Service catalog administrators can view these reports on screen or in some cases download a report in CSV format. These reports pertain to service trending, service costing, and service level agreements. Our service trending report captures information on our most active suppliers, as well as services that are published by category. We have information related to service requests and the categories that those requests belong to. And then we also have the ability to look at trending requests, the most popular and the least popular services at any given time. We can customize these reports somewhat by choosing a reporting period to filter the data that we want to see, or we can create a custom range. With regard to service costing, we capture basic service information like the service name, the publisher, the version, the type of connector, and so on. But we also look at the number of requests for that specific service. And based on the number of requests and cost model information that has been provided when the service was created, we can keep a running total cost of that specific service and the number of requests that are being made against that service. Just like the previous report, we can filter by reporting periods or we can create a custom range for the information that we want to view. In this particular instance, we can export this information to a ZSV format. Our third report is a service level agreement report. This report allows us to understand the average delivery time for any given service. Now in our current GA version of the product, we actually report on the service level agreement time that was defined when the service was being built. In future versions, we'll be able to record the time from the original request to the actual time of fulfillment and report on that provisioning time. Again, we can filter the information we look at or we can create custom range and export this to a CSV as well. Thanks for listening in. If you need more information, feel free to reach out to your BMC representative or come visit us at www.bmc.com. Thank you.